Good morning, best friend. This is day three of Vlogmas. So today I'm going to go to work. I start work at eight, nine o'clock. It's currently like seven, ten right now. So I know I'm going to be late because it takes me an hour to get there. Then I have to find parking and then I have to get on a bus, get on a bus to, um, to my job. So it's going to be a while. So, yeah, right now I'm currently trying to eat something right before I leave, make my lunch because you know we're on this healthy path. We're going to lose 15 pounds this month, right? Right? So, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. My sister's just looking at me for what? Ooh. So, are you going to say something? What's up, y'all? Brittany Chanel. You know, you know. So what do you want to say to my vlog? What positive message? Stay in school. And don't be doing nothing crazy up here. Because okay. some girls, y'all just be. Anyway, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs> to work um i usually so i live in the suburbs and i attend school in the city and i work for my school basically so it takes me about an hour an hour and 15 to get to my school so after i get there i have a parking lot where i park and then i have to take another bus to my job which sucks because it's just so long it's too long like i don't have time but Hope your morning is going well. It's vlogs, vlogmas day three. You guys also drop down in the comment section who are your favorite like vloggers? Who are you waiting to see for vlogmas? Like, let me know so I can be on top of um on top of the game too. So I can like, you know, watch people too. So um yeah, I'm really excited. Really excited for that. So um I'm really just I'm, I can't wait till the weekend starts. Like, I just want to, I want finals to be over, I want school to be over, so I can, like, really start on my businesses that have been on my heart. Like, I feel like the business idea that I want to do, and if you guys are watching me for the first time, go to my first vlog. I mean, my first vlog. My first vlogmas on video, so you can see the business that I really want to start. But, I feel like this dream is just, has been in my stomach, so, like, I'm pregnant with it, and I feel like... I'm overdue like I feel like the baby my baby which is in my stomach is like 11 months pregnant and I'm just I don't know I'm just ready to birth and I'm ready to just 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 show you guys show my best friend what it is and what's up like for real and I'm so glad that's why I love vlogmas so I'm so happy that you guys will literally be able to see everything every little part so that when the final product comes and by God's grace, when it's successful, people are like asking, how do you do it? What did you do? I'm going to just point to Vlogmas because literally it's just documentation of just something great that is starting. And y'all, I didn't put no um, lipstick in my lipstick or lip gloss. It's like, girl, you did your whole face. You might as well put on some lipstick and lip gloss, but I don't have time. But I'll just see y'all when I get to work. Hey, best friends. Okay, so obviously it's still the same day because we're doing vlogmas. Okay, so um, like I said in my last clip, went to work. Um, I worked and my boss let me out a little bit earlier than usual. So I was just, oh, so happy, just very happy. And then I had a meeting with one of my um, graduate assistants um, because I'm in this program called UPPF. And it's basically, for people that are interested in policy and want to just have a, a major difference so we volunteer at a site that is where i was going yesterday in the last video if you guys were wondering and um like we have seminars every other week we have assignments it's pretty cool it's, it's kind of cool we get paid that's the cool thing about it 
And my topic, because we all have to present a research topic at the end of the school year is, um, well, my topic is examining, mm, so examining early, oh my God, let me try again for the third time. Third time is a try. Examining teen fathers. Oh, split, ooh. Examining the conditions of teen fathers. There you go. Okay, so yeah, so it's really interesting. Like when you hear of like education or school, you normally think like science, math, but education can range from so many different things, and that is so cool. That is so cool. So right now, I am on one of my classrooms building. This sounds kind of weird, but inside it has classes, and then. I came out here because this view is sick, you guys. Look at this view. Look at Chicago, y'all. Look how beautiful it is. It's such it's just it's so beautiful. It's really so beautiful. So right now, I really do believe firmly, even if I don't often oh even if I don't do it, I really do believe in writing your goals. And writing plans so right now I really just want to stay here right now I'm going to other bag it's so hard and vlogging at the same time but um I really just want to come up here be inspired just be motivated really think about the goals that I want to achieve this month write down my to-do list like I said before I am creating a business that I just is just so dear to my heart and though it's just what it is if you guys watched my last vlog you guys would know what it is even though it's just that it's gonna be so much more like that point that I'm hitting um is just the starter for what I actually want to do so So it just um, stop recording. Like I know a lot of people that watch my channel are YouTubers or like just create great content, context and um, I said context, content in general. And like you know how when you use your phone and like your iPad and stuff, it loses memory. Uh, it sucks. But I had to just go delete the other clips from yesterday. But um, I, I'm guessing I, it cut off at this point. But you guys, this is my notebook dream. This is so cute. It's so crisp. It's so red. It's just really beautiful like so that's what I'm gonna write like what I want to achieve for this month pertaining to my business and this is probably gonna be my to-do list so I stay on track now that I am standing here a little bit longer it's really chilly outside it's really chilly let me see if I can find the weather let me see if I can find the weather because y'all need to know because you guys are virtually here. You need to feel everything. So I'm in Chicago, if you guys don't know, and it is 37 degrees. It is 37 degrees and I'm out here trying to vlog or whatever. Like I was watching, I was watching this girl on YouTube and she lives in Atlanta because everybody lives in Atlanta, shaking my head. But um, she was like, it's so cold, it's 50 degrees. I was like, be where? That is warm. You need to come to Chicago, you gonna feel the real cold. But I really wanted to stay out here and just really just, I really wanted to stay out here and really just vlog, but it's cold. So I think I'm gonna just pack up my bags and leave. Um, I really wanted to stay out here just to get motivated. Like imagine, just imagine looking at this. I'm at, like this is just so beautiful like for me don't want this clip to go longer than it is but when I when a lot of people see that they're like oh those are buildings those are tall buildings oh what a nice view but to dive in deeper to what that actually means to me is is to to believe in anything and when I say believe in anything, believe in all your dreams. Just believe that you can do anything. Because before these buildings were made, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were like, mm, that couldn't be done. Or, mm, good luck, that's hard. But as you see, it's done. So anything that we can do, or anything that you think of, you can, you can do it. Especially in this day and age, where social media, where internet is just at the at the like our, at our <laughs> at our fingertip it's so it's so crazy it's so beautiful it also when i look at it it also just lets me know that everything starts off as an idea so like when you guys are thinking about what you guys um want to do or like 
just what you want to accomplish and it's and you're just like wow these dreams are too big this goal is too big but everything starts as an idea i know i was watching um td jakes and he made a reference to like chairs like you see we're sitting on this chair we're see we're sitting on it everything starts as an idea this this same chair was an idea so what I'm just basically trying to say is that whatever you're dreaming, whatever is in your heart, whatever you think about constantly, whatever you just can't take your mind off of, do it. Do it. Don't say, oh, I don't have this, this opportunity or I don't have this tool or, or all my friends have this and I don't have it and that's why I can't do it. No, scratch that. Screw that. Do it with what you have. For example, I want to do YouTube. I'm really interested in YouTube. I really wanted to participate with vlogging this year, but I don't have a camera. Well, I have a, a filming camera, but I want to. I don't want to lunge that thing around school and then I get robbed and jump. Mm -mm. Like, so I'm using my iPad. As big as this thing is, walking. Like, yes, I use my iPad because that is what I want to do. That is where my heart is. So, with that being said, just follow your dreams and start wherever. Start at whatever period you are in your life. But yeah, it's cold. So I think I'm going to just pack up my bag and go. No, but for real, if you guys are watching this, which I know you guys are because you guys are my best friends, comment, comment just something inspirational for the next girl that watches this. I feel like a lot of people feel that everything is a competition. Like there's literally enough money in this world to go around. So truthfully, if you just do you, stay in your lane, focus on you, just because the next girl is doing the similar thing, you guys can still make money. You guys can still grind. So just what I'm saying is I want you guys in the comment section to just leave something encouraging, leave something motivational for the next girl who is watching this that doesn't believe that she can she can achieve what she wants or believes that she's not enough. Just just leave her something. And if that was you, if you don't know what to leave, leave something for yourself. Leave something that you want to work on. Um, I really want this channel to be bigger than just a channel. I really want this to be a hub for just girls, women like just that just want to do something with their life but this is heavy y'all my purse my book bag my hands hurt so i'll see y'all later hey best friends okay so before we get into this clip of the video remember what i said in my first video about how we are all regular smegla girls we're not those instagram or youtube popular people i'm saying that to say that yes things are not gonna look perfect like this yellow undertone light and that pot in the back that is right like why is right there like why so um just just scratch that so it is 10 p.m at night and I just came back from Walmart and I went to Walmart because I took a survey. Okay, so you guys know how I want to start my business or whatever. So I don't want to start my business without knowing who I'm selling to. So I made a survey so I can get, just get more knowledge on my customers. I want to know what they like, what they don't like, what they prefer, what they don't prefer by God's grace. Um... It worked in my favor that I knew that what I wanted to start, which is in the first um, Vlogmas video, if you guys want to know what it is, um, is going to be successful because a lot of people actually prefer it. So I'm kind of excited. So with that being said, I bought some stuff for um, just to make a poster board about who my clientele are. So the first thing is I got this. Look, look how cute this thing is. Like I had, like you know those regular like poster boards that are like this big. But then I saw this cute thing. It's just so cute. It can fit anywhere. So just like this. It's so cute. I'm so excited to start decorating. Then I bought this silver. It's called glitter pack poster kit. And like I said, I got it from Walmart. So. I don't know, I just want to decorate it with this just to describe my clientele. I also bought this thing. This thing was uh, $5.99. Like, why are things so expensive? Like, have you guys ever bought... You guys buy magazines? I bought this because I wanted to add it onto my poster board as well as add it onto a, a wall or a, a wall just to describe who I am as a person. Like... I don't know. I didn't know magazines were so expensive. And I was reaching for the Vogue magazine. And I said, let me just check the price because I'm not trying to pay 
over this amount at Walmart. And the bowl was like $12.99, like a magazine like this for $12.99. I was like, the devil is all. Like, <laughs> literally, I'm like, ooh, ooh, the devil is a lie. I can't. So this was $5.99, and this was even expensive for me. And also, I need to be keeping notes of what I'm doing with like social media, networking, and um, in my hair business and stuff like that. And especially with this business that I'm trying to start now. So I got like notebooks. So I'm going to make this for like my social media. Like how many people, how many supporters I have on there. Like my growth, my decline, what works and what doesn't work. Because, you know, you can't just be doing things aimlessly. You have to take a note. You have to analyze what is going on so that you can succeed at a faster rate. You know what I'm saying? And this is going to be for my business. I really love this color. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. So I'm so excited. Right now, I'm probably going to start start decorating. I know I'm not going to finish because I know I have to go on my computer and print out pictures. So things that I found out that, um, that I, well, things that I found out from the survey is that my supporters, my the clientele that will be likely to buy the things, they're mostly African-Americans. So basically, I come in contact with mainly African-Americans. They're women, they're entrepreneurs. Um, a lot of people they want to have full time jobs, but they also want to have their own business on the side. Um, essentially for me, I want to be a hundred percent. Like I want to be a hundred percent entrepreneur. I really don't want to work for anybody because, essentially, you're either working for yourself or you're working for somebody else's dream to come true. And it's not bad at all working for other people because I know a lot of people that work for people. And they are employed, making bands, like having fun, enjoying life. So it's whatever you prefer. So and for me, I just want to be my own boss. So what else did I learn about them? They drink coffee. They drink coffee. So I asked a question. I was like, do you guys prefer Starbucks or do you guys... I can't get this open. Why don't I have my scissors? Do you guys prefer... Starbucks or do you guys prefer Dunkin Donuts and Dunkin Donuts and Starbucks they were kind of similar with um Dunkin Donuts in the lead but I found a lot of people they don't drink coffee too I was like what how do y'all make it to the day through the day so right now I'm just opening this so much Ooh. So pretty look at look at this this is so oh my god don't you guys like this how do you feel about this gold like what are your thoughts let me know like I don't like this look at you this is a regular black one a regular black The silver one is gorgeous. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh, I'm more of a gold girl, but this is gorgeous. And a white. I actually thought they were going to give us the imprint so that we don't have to cut it out. But it looks like we're going to have to. Oh, I just got makeup on it. Oh, my God. This is what happens when you're greasy. So, um, that as well. So, um, I also wanted to address before I end the clip, um, for today, I wanted to address these two books. Now, I always feel like reading is so I did switch angles because y'all, I just switched angles. So, um, I wanted to address these two books. This is Mingley's The Best Marketer Wins and Be You and Live Civil. But I feel like um, I already have enough footage for today and I don't want to overload you guys with information. So if you guys want to hear more about it, definitely leave something in the comment section below. Let me let me know if you guys like this vlog because, you know, we're best friends. So I need input. If there's anything that you feel like I should be doing better or I can improve on, let your girl know. Like, I love criticism. If you love it, if you enjoy seeing me every day, let me know. Input is key, y'all. Y'all have to let... 
YouTubers or just people that you love know if they're doing the right thing or just encourage them because it gets hard. It's like, oh my God, does anybody even care about this? So just let me know how y'all feel about Vlogmas, especially those books. Um, and I'll let you guys know. Also, I think this, I'm going to end the clip. Um, I'm going to try to have this by 8 a.m. in the morning so that everybody can have, um, you know, just everybody can have time to watch it on their own pace and when they want to. So I'm going to see you guys in my next video, which is tomorrow. Um, I love you guys. This is so exciting to me. I, I can't believe I'm hanging out with you guys every day. It's so exciting. Oh, <sighs> okay. So I'll see you tomorrow, best friends. Bye, babies. <laughs>